All right, so give me your name and rank, and what is your job? I am A1C Bane, and I'm a weather apprentice. Okay. Uh, you're pretty excited about that? Yes, that was my like top pick. So. Awesome. Um, so give me just a brief description of what your job actually consists of. Um, pretty much what you'll be doing, it's half desk job, half actually having to get up and move around. Uh, with that being said, with the desk part, you will be looking at databases, which will give you a layout of what the atmosphere is doing and pretty much give you a good explanation of what your forecast will look like. And along with that, uh, you'll be having to get up every hour and you'll have to take observations. So you'll go outside and actually look outside and write down what you see and sky conditions and so forth. Um, and with all that combined, you will be able to take uh, make a forecast for your customers. Okay, and obviously this forecast, you're not just a weatherman. Uh, what is your forecast used for? Um, that is used for pretty much mission accomplishments. Uh, that could be something like a training they need to do, um, or that could actually be going and doing a real life mission. So they need to know if the weather is good for that, and they need to know for specific times what the weather is like and if it's in their favor, and it will be good for mission accomplishment. So you're speaking like weather, pressure, everything for flying missions, is that right? Yes, okay. absolutely. Awesome, that sounds very interesting. So where did you go to tech school to learn this? I was stationed at Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, called Keesler Air Force Base, and right on the Gulf. Pretty hot sometimes, especially during the summer. <laughs> okay, uh, can you give me like a day-to-day, -day how your tech school was, kind of what you guys learned, the basics, obviously? Um, so depending on what day it was, you either get to school at 6.30 or you get to school at 7.30. For the 6.30 days, that's Tuesdays and Thursdays. You don't have PT that day. You get up and you immediately march to class. Um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you will wake up at 5 a.m., have a PT session until 6 o'clock a.m., and then get ready and you'll be in school at about 7.30. And how long did you say your tech school was? For weather, it's approximately eight months. Okay, so you're actually learning a lot of different things. Um, it sounds like it's a little, obviously a little bit scientific as well. A lot of scientific, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, was that hard for you in tech school? It, you're, if you don't know a lot about weather, which I didn't know a lot, I thought I did, but not really, um, they start to teach you what things are, and then they start to teach you what makes those things do what they do. So that's can be hard. Um, I struggled with geography. <clears throat> I'm not too sure where certain things are, but that course, by the end of it, I pretty much can tell you where the Great Lakes are, stuff like that, mostly stuff with uh, Central CONUS, which is uh, Central America. Okay. Um, and as far as um, the hardness of tech school, like you said, it was a little bit difficult. Um, did you guys do like group study or if you actually just apply yourself, like, was it terribly difficult? Did you have to do a lot of homework? As far as homework goes, um, occasionally you would have to do homework. Um, we did, I started out doing a lot of group studies, especially starting to get a hang of stuff and actually comprehending things. So we did a lot of people in my class, we'd get together after school get in a day room and study for a couple of hours. But after I kind of got the hang of things and found out by me just being in my room and just reading and reading and studying by myself, I actually was able to usually make a 90 or above on the measurements. Oh wow, so that's really good. Um, does everybody in tech school, do they kind of help each other out if anybody has any weaknesses or strengths? Absolutely, we had uh, one of the guys in our class who caught up really quick and he would pretty much reteach us after we had just been taught, you know, just to kind of clarify if something the teacher couldn't clarify. That's great. Uh, okay. And you have an unusual circumstance about where you're being stationed at. Can you give me a little bit of description about that? So uh, being a weather apprentice, there are kind of two different situations you could go to. Um, if you're doing Air Force, you'll go to an Air Force base and you'll either work in a hub or a actual weather squadron. Um, I'm not too specific on those, but I do know they 
are changing how both of those things work. So I can't really give you any specifics, but they are actually changing everything about them. So either you can work with the Air Force or they do Army support. And that is what I'm doing. Um, and I'll be going to Fort Drum, which is in Watertown, New York. And with that being said, Army support is a lot different than just going to an Air Force base. Um, I will have to do specific training with the Air Force or with the Army. Uh, for instance, we have to do ECAC, which is uh, a shortened version of SEER, and that is in Texas. Uh, you'll also do uh, AWISC, which is in Arizona, and that's like a 30 day kind of being out in the sticks doing uh, field missions and stuff. Um, and I will also be continuing the weather training for my job because after tech school, you're still learning. You have your you have your building blocks and now you're gonna build off those and actually be able to be on your own and be able to make confident forecasts. So like kind of like on the job training. And of course, Absolutely. you're not gonna be alone. You're gonna be with people that have been doing it for a little while. Yes. Uh, it sounds like you've got a pretty cool road ahead of you. You're going to New York, you're pretty excited about that? Yeah, it's, it's cold, it, they get a lot <laughs> of snow and I will get to the point where I can actually forecast for that weather and it'll be a challenge, but you know, what are you doing if you're not challenging yourself, so. Very good. And uh, it sounds like you're gonna be going all over the United States for like the first year or so, and that's just starting out. Yep, absolutely. So that's fantastic. Um, any advice that you would give people that are looking to do something weather-wise, like um, someone that is interested in specific things, who would you recommend weather to? Uh, if you're okay with a long tech school, if it's really what you want to do, like I said, it was my top pick, so I was open-minded about the long tech school, but if you were definitely okay with that, I would say go for it. It's going to be a challenge. You're going to have to study. You can't pass without studying. That's just point blank, but if you can do that, then I go for it. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody.